you notice when I installed this front hub, I put all the extra cables right into the original cable so it looks all nice and clean install. Here's to run the front motor, which I only saved that when the back one's gone and I, I don't have any energy. Uh, it's a sweet little setup. This, this light right here is as bright as a motorcycle light and it recharges. I gave the last one to my brother and uh, for his bicycle. I had to buy another one and the battery pack sits in here. A little husky bag from Harbor Freight and I got a small tool kit in there. Uh, 750 watt hub motor on the back, 1000 on the front. I do have, I have taken my vacation pay and bought a 5000 watt hub while they were still cheap. I got that kit uh, for one third of the cost that they go for. So, and that's at today's prices. By the time I put it on, which would be, you know, when that one wears out or say 5,000 miles, then uh, that hub motor would probably be worth six grand. The hub kit, 72 volt. I like the theme here. And this one came with, you can get a cheaper model, but this one came with a bigger battery, uh, front suspension and the rack on the back. I've added water bottle carrier uh really nice lighting this is from my phone but because i'm trying to do youtube now i uh run in a chest mount we'll see how that works and uh i mainly want to do some videos so uh, get my bushcrafting skills and and uh you know self-reliance skills out there and also, my kids at this point in time aren't interested in what I have to teach them. So just like anybody else, later on when they're ready and maybe when I'm gone, YouTube will preserve them. So they'll still get to see, see me and hear me. Uh, younger brother passed away the end of April. Uh... So in a sense, he's he's riding with me. Him and I were like we we're like twins from the time that we were young kids. We went everywhere together. So I'm gonna do my best to have the adventures as long as I can for me and for him. Uh, gonna get back on the road. My front wart, uh, sorry, my front, the battery's in here, 20 amp hour battery, battery in my, uh, shoot, controller. Yeah, Jesus, Brian. The water dumbed me down a little, I guess. Uh, but controller is in there. So, kind of cleans things up a little bit, you know? Like I said, this thing is going to be my, basically is my workout system, so it's going to keep me healthy too. So it's not just an e-bike. If I didn't have this bike, I wouldn't be out at all. Or I'd say probably put one mile on versus how many I do now. Pedal assist one, not going hard. You get about seven miles an hour. Two, about 12 miles an hour. Three, 16, 17 miles an hour. Four, you're in the low to mid 20s. Pedal assist five can get me to 30 miles an hour. more if you had a better conditioned person on here because in a sense you can go as fast as you can pedal right and uh that front hub motor will push this thing over 35 
Oh, I did get the Cloud 9 seat because I knew I'm going to be on this thing. Actually, I'd like to be on this more than I'm in my car if possible. Together, total with all the accessories and all the pampering I've done to it, got two grand into it. But like I said, it's better than a aerial rider grizzly. I'm not knocking them because they're good-looking bikes, but people are buying them and turning them into motorcycles. So why don't you just buy a motorcycle? I got this because it can assist me when I need it. But it also gets me out. I mean, look, those guys are sleeping. I'm out enjoying my day, you know. Doesn't get much better than that. wife's first day of vacation was yesterday she's gonna want to do some bang up projects I already know that oh this stretch is where we also trick-or-treat police basically close this end of town down and it's known for its trick-or-treating it's the safest place in town, that's why. minimum pedal assist three although i did most of that trip except for when i had to speed up the traffic on pedal assist two battery still at 100 percent I'll check in a little while and see if I've unlocked this. That would be interesting. If I haven't, I'll probably get about 40 miles an hour with it. But I don't want to abuse that because they don't regulate e-bikes out here. Like this e-bike, I bought it as a two and it's really a, a, a four right now. So like I said, I don't want to really ruin that. I only got the extra system to give me the extra distance.
I'm only going to be road riding, so I should set my tires for maximum too. So it'll make it more efficient for me and the bike. Also got to go out and collect some cattails today and uh, shoots. I want to eat some and then also I want to pickle some. Now what would be really fun is putting this on the back of my car, driving to Hanover and doing Uber Eats and uh, throughout the college town on the e-bike. I have to test that area because I'm not sure if it's a viable market right now, but that would be cool. take a right up here because if I go straight I have a huge hill and then I will come out where there's no viable lanes for this bike so just gonna take a turn here I do have to get mirrors my older brother, Alan, I gave him my mirrors because he was able to ride a lot sooner than I was. Uh, I just have to order another set. They're not expensive. Shoot, the price I've saved in gas. At $4.60 a gallon minimum on this thing. The... Uh, I can afford the gloves, right? I wonder if I, you know, I took the right direction. Okay. The, uh, my truck was getting 15 miles a gallon. So every 15 miles I go on this e-bike saves me $4.60 minimum. And that's if the prices don't go up which we know they're gonna, because they made the crip loss. Oh, I also wanted to say I made a 12 volt uh, solar system and a 12 volt system for recharging this in case the grid goes down. I will still have transportation, uh, which I anticipate that happening too, because Big Brother just loves to mess with the the little people. I mean, they're crippling us with this inflation. How you doing? All right, rear battery is at 80% right now 
The gun went 29 miles on it and it was at 40%. So. Like I said, as long as you baby it, you can get you some good distance. This area. It's got some nice shade. Actually, you can shut this off for a while. It's all downhill. Let that battery recharge a little. Not that I need it because I got plenty of reserve. And it came right back to a hundred. With my filming on this phone, I didn't get a chance to uh, turn my GPS on it. Because that will tell average speeds and all that. This might too, but the GPS would be more accurate. hasn't missed me yet she hasn't called have to see if this gives you guys a really good point of view I said I don't know yet. I'm gonna shut it off, take a break from talking about a mile away from the house. All right, everybody, enjoy your day.